Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. You are now watching Shahinaz Al Asrawi, and that's the CCNA 200 125 complete and organized course. Today we are going to to talk about the devices and cables used in the course, and let's start our presentation. First, we want to know uh, what's the router and what's the switch and when to use each one of them and what's the difference between each one of them. Let's speak about them on a real network here. Here we have, let's first disconnect those cables. Okay. Here we have uh, three PCs and three PCs and two PCs and we get uh, three switches and we connected the PCs to the switches in this form. Those three PCs here are on the same broadcast domain. What is a broadcast? A broadcast is a frame with a destination of all the PCs or all the devices in a certain network. The broadcast here or the broadcast frame is a frame distant to all the devices on this segment or on this network. So if PC0 is sending a broadcast, PC1 and PC2 will receive this broadcast. And if PC3 is sending a broadcast, PC4 and PC5 are receiving this broadcast and so on for each network. So a broadcast is a single frame which is received by all the devices on a network so here we have uh, eight devices or eight PCs and I want to connect those PCs uh, here that's not a design that's uh, three separate switches you have you don't have a network like that you need to connect them in a form or another so you have two options option one is to connect the switches with each other like this and like this what will happen now if pc0 sends a broadcast if pc0 now sends a broadcast all the pcs connected with it on the switch will receive this broadcast and all the switches on the other sorry all the pcs on the other switches will receive the broadcast also like they became one large switch so connecting th switches with each other like this is not creating three different broadcast domains which are connected to each other that's not the case if you are connecting switches with each other without using a router or a layer 3 device you are creating a large broadcast domain so if PC0 now sends a broadcast, all the PCs here will, re will receive this broadcast and all the other PCs on the other switches. So you just increased the number of interfaces in a certain broadcast domain. If or the other option you have is to use a router. So let's get a router here, any model. We will use the 2911 here, this one and we will connect this router with the switches so here we will connect router 0 with the switch router 0 with the switch and router with the switch now because you used a router you have three broadcast domains three separate broadcast domains or three separate networks so now if PC0 sends a broadcast, only PC1 and PC2 and the router will receive this broadcast. But the router will not retransmit this broadcast to the other networks because it's two other separate broadcast domains. But if PC0 sends a unicast for PC3, unicast means a packet sent to just one device so if pc0 sends a unicast to pc3 so the router can route this packet to pc3 so here we can de de decide here that switch or the switch is a device used to transfer data on the same network 
but the router is a device used to transmit data from network to network and that's the routing process and that's the switching process switching means to receive a frame from one device and forward that frame to another device on the same network but routing is receiving a, f a packet from one device and sending this packet to another device on another network you may have several routers and in this case you will need a routing protocol the routing protocol is used to teach the router the other networks which are not connected to this router and to choose the best route to these networks so so that's here the difference between the router and the switch the other topic I want to talk about in this video here is a physical media. Physical media is the cables. You have here uh, examples like the coaxial cables that's uh, similar to that of the TV and you have fiber optics and you have the UTB cable. Most uh, the CCNA course uh, is interested in the UTB cable here uh, not in the fiber optics and in the coaxial cables in the WAN connections we are going to study the serial cable and to how to connect the serial cable and we'll learn everything about the DC and the DTE and so on but now we are interested in the UTB cable here so let's see a table here this table is for clarifying the difference between several types of cables here the cables are of the coaxial type and the fiber optics and the UTP the first difference we see here is the distance of the cable first they are, they are all LAN cables and the LAN is less than 10 kilometers as we said before each cable can run for a certain distance if you have a coaxial cable you can see it's 500 meters 185 meters and so on the UTB cable is a short cable okay it's about 100 meters or so the fiber cable is a long cable it can run up to 10 kilometers and that's a very large distance and that's why the LAN and the MAN are now the same uh, you can cover a man network a man area network or a metropolitan area network which was 10 kilometers with a LAN technology so that's why we are talking about LAN and WAN and we didn't mention the MAN technology because we, there here is the fiber optics which run for a very large distance the second difference here is about the duplex you have half duplex and you have full duplex half duplex means uh, that in this wire or in this cable the data can move in one direction at a time if you are sending data you cannot receive if you are receiving data you cannot send at one time full duplex means you can send and receive at the same time also you have the bandwidths we are talking about LAN connection so the LAN connection is from 10 megabit per second which is the Ethernet connection and you have 100 megabit per second which is a fast Ethernet you can see here in the fast Ethernet there is half duplex which is 100 megabits per second and you can see the full duplex which are, is 200 megabits per second why is it 200 200 is 100 and 100 100 for send and 100 for receive so it's also 100 megabits per second which is the standard fast ethernet speed and there is a giga and there is the 10 giga uh, if uh, ethernet or fast ethernet okay so 10 gigabit ethernet is of 10,000 bits per second and the 1 giga which is 1000 bits per second and here and so on so the LAN connection is a network or a connection with short cables okay not very long you cannot uh, extend the cable between countries okay for example but it's with a very large bandwidth or a very large speed 
on the other side you have the wan connection the wan connection is a network with very long distances and you use isp or wsp to connect very far devices or very far sites and branches but the bandwidth you get is very small or very weak uh, like the internet connections the internet is a type of the WAN and in internet connections you can see speeds of uh, 2 megabit per second 4 16 and uh, very small numbers here you can see the name or the type of the ethernet you can see here 10 and 100 and so on which is the speed of the cable base means that this cable uh, can carry digital signal and here is the uh, connector type or the cable type 5 and 2 is for coaxial cables and they represent the distance of each cable T means twisted pair and F in general means fiber optics and you can you here have multi mode fiber and single mode fiber you will see that single mode is uh, with a, a longer cable fiber is uh, you can study fiber separately not in this course this course as, as i said before is interested more in the uh, ethernet connection with utp okay so let's speak in more detail about the utp cable the UTP cable or any cable is used to connect different devices with each other. Like here in our network, where it is, it's here. Okay, we have a router and we have switches. Let's alter this network a little. If I disconnected here and I chose a crossover cable from here to here. And I'll tell you in a minute what's meant by a crossover cable. You can see here that this cable is called the straight through cable and you have here a crossover cable. Let's see what's meant by these cables. First, this is called an RJ. This here is called an RJ, the connector you plug in uh, your router or your PC or your switch. This is called an RJ45 plug which has uh, 8 wires. Each wire has a color and those colors are in a certain order and you must memorize the order of each color like this. It's a standard uh, sort. Okay, so here uh, the wires, you can memorize the wires as the bin is downward, the clip is pointed away from you like here and the colors are starting from the left white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown if the other rj has the same colors then you have a straight through cable as you can see here the two rjs are similar i will give you a hint here so you can uh, know when to use a straight through cable a straight through cable is a similar cable so it's used to connect different devices okay it's uh, the other thing not the same so here you have similar wires or similar wire colors so you can use this cable to connect different devices so like what different devices we mean here like you are connecting a switch and a router a switch and a pc um, uh, different devices like here in my lab I'm using a straight through cable between a router and the switch a switch and the PC here also okay but on the other hand there is another wire a crossover cable in a crossover cable the colors are here the same as before white orange orange and so on if you switched the oranges and the greens like here you switched uh, here the white orange is here the white green instead and here's the orange you have the green and here's the white green you have the or white orange and instead of the green here you have the orange here you will have a crossover cable it's a different cable like you see here you have different uh, wires or different colors in the two rjs here so it's a different wire it's used to connect similar 
devices like you are connecting a switch and a switch a router and a router a pc and a pc okay is that clear so you have two uh, uh, sortings or two uh, types of wires a straight through cable which is a similar cable and you have a crossover cable which is a different cable there is only one special case about the crossover cable if you have a pc and the router and you want to connect them directly so you will use a crossover cable in spite of that they are two different devices there is a third cable here which is called the rollover cable or the console cable it's a special cable uh, it comes with the device in the beginning if you have a router and you want to configure this router you can use a crossover cable oh, sorry the rollover cable or the console cable and connect it to the uh, router directly to enter the configuration comments let me show you i have a network here i want to show you a picture to clarify those wires or those, those cable wire uh, connections like here okay let me show you okay as you can see here i have uh, two routers and i have a switch okay and here is the same network okay look i have two routers to connect the two routers they are similar so i will use a crossover cable which is the blue one here i connected the router and the router via a crossover cable if i am going to connect a router to a switch so i'm using a virus i have a virus here but it was deleted and i'm glad okay and here you have uh, to connect a router to a switch okay i know i know deleted that's good okay if i have i want to connect a router to a switch i'm going to use a straight through cable which is a gray one here and i'm going to connect it to a uh, any port in the switch that's a data connection those cables are used to transfer data from the router to the switch or from, from a switch to a switch or whatever the connection is look here you have a special port which is called the console port the switch also have a console port but but in the back of the switch okay all of those are data ports the console port is, a, is in the back here is the console port of the router and the console cable of the router this cable came with the router i didn't make it okay each router comes with its own console a cable or rollover cable okay what's the other end looks like let me show you what the other end of this cable looks like see that's the other end of this cable it's a serial so can you see here it's a com com port it needs a com port most laptops now doesn't have a com port that's a, not a com port this is a port for a, a projector or a screen okay that's not a com port okay so this cable here needs a com port and i don't have a com port so i got a, a usb converter as you can read here and you connect the com port to the usb converter and you connect the other end the usb to the laptop and voila you have a connection a usb connection between your router and the laptop and you can use a third uh, the third term and the putty uh, as usual okay i'll tell you about this later in the practice uh, or in the sessions of uh, the practical examples okay so what if this cable was lost was damaged anything happened to this cable okay i can make it how can i make it like this you can get two rjs you here put the wires as before white orange orange white green and so on and on the other rj you can put the cables in the inverse order entirely like you start from the right not from the left so one rj starts from the left with white orange orange and so on and one rj starts from the right white orange orange and so on this is an 
RJ, RJ cable. So uh, how can I connect it? You do not connect a console cable to an NIC. NIC means a network interface card. It's not right. NIC is used to transfer regular data. That's not regular data. That's configuration. So what can I do? You can use a converter. There's two types of converters. There's a direct converter like you. Uh, it's an RJ USB converter directly. You can plug this RJ to the uh, converter and the converter to the laptop directly or you can use two converters one is like my uh, converter here where is that photo hey tamam <laughs> it's my word i i keep telling uh, everyone tamam 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 so i switch it here okay so you can use one converter is my usb converter here and one converter is like this end here it's uh, called uh, an rj com converter you plug the u is a rj here and then the com is uh, on the usb converter here and from the usb you uh, go to the USB of the laptop. So you can use one converter, which is RJ USB, or you can use two converters, RJ COM, COM USB. And by this, you made a rollover or a console cable used for configuration and entering comments to a router or to a switch. I heard this, that uh, this cable is uh, very expensive so uh, by making it it's very very cheap i think i made it once so that works if if you are asking if that if this work yes yes th this works okay and that's that for today we talked about uh, the devices used and the cables used and when to use each cable uh, in the next uh, video we are going to speak about the osi model and the tcp over ip and the layers and uh, we will continue in our english course inshallah please uh, follow and subscribe in my channel and uh, send me comments and tell me what do you think of this course and if you want me to continue or to stop because uh, in the Arabic version people told me to continue so I'm going to continue in the Arabic version but please tell me what do you think of this English series and if you want to me to continue or to stop this English series and keep on my Arabic series alone okay thank you very much please subscribe to my channel and like my page on facebook uh, www.facebook.com slash and my um, uh, join my facebook group thank you very much for watching uh, and good luck